You know me as Kiwi Car Life, the guy who owns a Suzuki UZ50. But ladies and gentlemen, have I got news for you. It turns out I also own a second scooter, which admittedly doesn't get a lot of use. So in this never before seen footage, here is the Kiwi Car Life scooter version two. This beast comes equipped with an absolute gem of an engine. It produces a staggering, um, wait, how much horsepower does it make? Ahem, <laughs> a staggering 1.2 horsepower, being sent through neither of its two wheels. Suspension is, uh, non-existent, but the brakes, uh, well, they're non-existent too. Handling is good enough to rival most sports bikes at speeds of less than 10 km an hour. The top speed rather depends on how fat you are or how much protection you have available. And the greatest thing about this truly magnificent scooter is that race spec parts are considerably cheaper than other vehicles. A Sparco bucket seat for a car costs a monumental $549. By comparison, a Recaro bucket seat for this scooter costs just $1.20 from the warehouse and it does the job just as well. Yes indeed this Recaro bucket seat uh, is their latest design um, and it really is absolutely magnificent. No bolts or screws that need to be removed so it can be taken off for easy cleaning and it's just held there by the force of gravity. I mean the force is there, might as well use it right? And then the other great thing about this is that all 1.2 horsepower can be uh, switched off at any point and just utilize the force of gravity. And yeah, it's absolutely magnificent. Um, check out the handling. Still got to be safe. I mean, we are on the load after all. Yeah, you know, handles pretty nicely. Admittedly, you can't lean it over very far because you'll scrape the pegs, unfortunately. Um, but it really doesn't matter in my mind, this seat's just designed for cruising around really. Nothing to uh, worry about. And uh, the other great thing about it too is that it's a bit of an eye catcher I must say. You get some uh, interesting looks from people around you. But uh, yeah, you know, it'll comfortably cruise around at 20 or 30 kilometers an hour. It's not scary. And oh, yep, there's the pig scraping again. And then... Uh, you run out of gravity just switch on the 1.2 horsepower again and I mean admittedly the top speed isn't brilliant but it's not bad. Also this is the first scooter to come with a built-in tow bar. The trailer options are widespread and your wheelie bin will do the trick just fine. This friends is my solution to the public transport crisis. If you can't stand the traffic but you also can't stand suffering on a miserable bus or train then this is the answer you can fit driver another three people or so on the back and there's plenty of room inside for all your luggage admittedly there's a bit of rubbish in there at the moment but you can clean that out where you go now the only problem with this thing is that because it basically is a bus it has a bit of a habit of handling like one. But you know, all's well once you get the thing moving. It's really not that bad, you know, over the bumps, no problems. And at any point you can just sit back and let it do the riding itself. You know, just sort of lean it back. Okay, maybe not. Cruise control facilities are not available on this. So there we are, my second scooter. It'll be great to see you again next week when I try to set a world speed record on this fine beast. See ya.